Hey, I'm gonna give you a quick handbrake demo so you can see how to use it. First thing we gotta do is start it up. So, here's handbrake. It's gonna take a second because first we have to tell it where to get the files from. If you already have them on your hard drive, you can just grab it from there, but I have to open it from the DVD for this particular one. So, we'll let it go ahead and read. It'll take a second because it's got to kind of go through everything that's on the DVD. And once it actually starts, we'll see it up here. So, there it goes. So, over here on the side, I've got um, some different options. I'm going to grab iPod for this but if you want, you've got iPhone options also. You'll just have to play and see which will work the best for you. Um, on this particular DVD, it's Band of Brothers, so there's two episodes, and I'm gonna grab the first one, and then it's disc three, which has episodes five and six, so the first one I'm just gonna rename with a five after it so I know which one it is. I can tell it which chapters I want. Um, this down here I pretty much usually leave just how it is and don't need to change anything but I'm gonna go to picture settings and here is what it's gonna do so I'm pretty much just gonna leave it alone the only thing I am gonna change is I'm gonna deinterlace it so um, if I click through here it kinda gives me a preview of what it's gonna look like so it looks fine so go ahead and hit close I'm also um, because there's two episodes I want to grab on this I'm gonna hit add to queue and I'm actually gonna hit show queue also just so I can see that it went in there so there's the first part and then if we go to the second title you can see it's an hour and seven minutes long so we'll select that one change this to a six since it's episode six and then um, we'll go back into picture settings and it's fine just like it is and we'll go ahead and deinterlace it hit close and then add to queue and now we have two things in there so we'll go ahead and hit start you can hit start on your queue or up here where it, it changed to stop now but it's going to go ahead and compress these, so we'll just hang out and wait for them. So now the handbrake is finished, so we can go ahead and close it. And then what we need to do is open up iTunes. In iTunes, create just an untitled playlist. And before we drag those files in, let's check real quick and make sure under advanced for our general settings for the library we do want it to copy the files to the iTunes music folder so that's good we'll go ahead and click OK down here so then what's going to happen is when I take these two files we just made off my desktop and I put them in iTunes it's going to actually copy them and you can see that it's doing that so we'll just wait for a second and let them copy because waiting is cool so what I'm going to do is select them both and then once they're both selected I'm going to hit Apple and I and that is for information so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill this out and then I'll show you what I put in there All right. so what I put in I put in HBO for the artist and Band of Brothers for the album I've also got um, the year is 2002. I didn't actually mean to put in disc number, but I was going to put in a track number as 10. And then I also put movie as the genre. The other thing I've got is I grabbed um, a poster just off the internet, and I'm going to drag that into my artwork so that it'll have something cool looking. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. and 
there they are. So now I'm going to select the first one, hit Apple I again, and that's going to bring up information about this individual track. And I'm going to name this as track 5. Oh, not 8, 5. And then I'm going to type in the episode name, which is Crossroads. So there I've got my Crossroads, my episode name track number. The other thing that you might want to do is click on video here. This is where you can change it to a music video or a TV show, you know, just depending on what's appropriate. And this is so that it, um, after we click OK here, by, by putting movie, what's going to happen is it's going to put it up here and it's in the movie folder. So let's go ahead and go back and we'll fix this one and I'll be right back. So, Bastone is the episode name, it's episode number 6, I'll go ahead and click OK. So here are my two episodes in my blank playlist, and here it's showing the album artwork. So now what we want to do, we're going to sync this to Genesis iPod, so we'll go ahead and click iPod here. I'm not, I haven't seen the iPhone when it comes up, so I'm not entirely sure, but I would assume it's something pretty similar to this. I'm going to click on the movies tab. It's going to ask um, if I want to sync movies, all movies, or selected movies is what I do. So what I'm going to do is come down and select, I had to do this twice, the ones with the blue dots it can actually put on your iPod. It's compatible. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and it should take a second and it's gonna go ahead and sync those so I'll be back in a minute. In the meantime while we're waiting for these to copy onto the iPod if I click on movies and I come in here you can see all the other movies I've got but here it is here's Band of Brothers this is the Bastogne episode and then here's the Crossroads episode so they're both in there which is kinda nice and then if we check on the iPod it's still copying the first file and this will take a while because it's got to, you know, spool through the USB and actually copy the files and they're usually pretty big. They're usually a gig or so. So it says the iPod sync is complete. We'll go ahead and eject it. And then it'll probably take a second for it to get the message. Yeah, we got the spinning wheel of death. Waiting is cool. I'd love to wait. So the iPod's ejected. If I can get it unplugged with one hand. So, let's see if we can find it. But if we go into videos, movies, oh, there's Crossroads right there. So, let's go ahead and hit it, see what we got. It's looking pretty good. That's it. That's Band of Brothers. So, that's how to go from the CD to your iPod.